Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here with the Joker. We are here in Suzuka this week. We've left the Nürburgring from last week, Western Germany. As you can see, this is the standings from the way they looked at the end of last week. Stellarman has four wins, four poles. Can he go five from five this week? We'll find out, unless someone else can take it to him. Qualifying is underway here at Suzuka. Uh, we're on board here with Sean um, through Dunlop Curve here. Uh, this is a ghosted uh, qualifying session. Just uh, just so people can get a good run. Uh, so they've done their they've done their outlap, and they don't have to worry about uh, actual traffic in this series. But Sean's here is approaching uh, approaching the hairpin. He has got a couple cars around him, but uh, as I said, uh, that shouldn't cause him too much drama. As uh, being ghosted, uh, I personally, I personally, still think it's a distraction. Um, but uh, it's better than actually, better than actually running into them. Uh, coming through spoon here, drop it down a gear, and this this corner really tightens up and keeps tightening up, keeps tightening up, keep tightening up again, again. If we get on the gas. Down the back straight through 130R. Oh, he's run a little bit wide there. That should be okay. Let's see what sort of lap he can uh, see what lap he can put in. Sean's currently sitting third in the DTM Championship. Uh, he's got Lewis. Uh, in front of him, which is actually, those two have been basically inseparable. There's some fantastic uh, battles that go on in this championship. So as, uh, as Sean came across the line there, he's come across with a 215.849. So we're going board with Stellarman here, the uh, definite standout. Four wins, four poles from this series. He's been in a league of his own almost. Fantastic looking BMW. Very retro. He comes through his second Degna now. He uses all the exit curb there. I better give a big shout out to uh, Mr. Angry here. It's actually his birthday today, so uh, happy birthday, mate. Hopefully, it brings you some luck. Through 200R. Fast right hander. Coming here into Spoon Hills. Stellarman going to attack this one. He takes a much tighter line, certainly doesn't run very wide. Uh, like Sean, like Sean did earlier, yeah. Sean was a good car width wider than that. Foul bouncing and getting through the gears. Trying to extract every last ounce of power and torque that he's got from his BMW. Should be just about flat through 130R. Should be just the slightest lift if anything. And it's hard on the brakes for the Casino Triangle. What's he going to have for us? Can he put it on pole? Not even. Not, e not even. He's, he's a good... Wow, 216.089. Alright, let's go on board with uh, Rampant Robbo. See what he's got for us in the Alpha. Now the um, playing livery behind us is uh, 
He's actually the safety car driver. He's um, he's been given a couple of hot laps, um, so he's not actually in his qualifying session. He's been given a couple of hot laps in uh, in one of the DTM cars, so just ignore him. Well, he's he's not actually qualifying. He's just having some fun. Oh, Robbo missed the apex big time there for the first diagnose. As he gets for the second one, nicely done. Uses all the curb there. He's just missed the apex there again as well. He's either he's either hurt the tyres already. Through 200. Uh, a few lines that you can take through there, you can run it in really tight, but you're going to scrub 10 15 kilometers an hour off your speed uh, in doing so, or you can run it wider, you can make, make the track a bit longer. Robbo's got a very nice line through Spoon, very nice line. Let's see how the Alpha goes down the straight. They do have, they do have uh, a bit of top end speed compared to. Mercedes and the BMW, uh, whereas the Mercedes and BMW are, particularly the BMW, are much faster through the through the tight S's, through the hairpin. Oh, big lock up from Rampart. Gets it turned in though. That's a good. He's going to come across the line with. Oh, someone's in the wall up there. What happened? What happened there? Come across the line with a 217-218. Ultra Boris has gone in for pole position. That was a cracking time. Sean's in second, Louis third, Stillerman got fourth. That's his first time off the front row this season. But we're about to go lights out, so let's get on with it. And we're green. Everyone gets away quite cleanly. We've got Ultra Boris still leading. Sean's got away both from Lewis and uh, that looks like Stellarman's in there. Stellarman's gone up to third. Uh, we, oh, Daddy Stiggs, he's run wide. He's missed his brake marker or just cold tyres. He's gone wide at turn one there. But everyone away, surprisingly, cleanly. No rubbing panels or anything so far. These top four have already put a gap on to P5. Got Ultra Sean Stellarman all over the back of Sean here, and he's also got Louis. Louis's gone up the inside at second deck now, and he's held it. Well done. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Stellarman came back at him. Right through 200 R. This is a cracking first lap here. 200 uh, through now, you're coming into Spoon for the first time. Little lock up there from Sean. Cold tyres, cold tyres. Car's gonna wanna just run wide. As Dealer Man does so, he's got Lewis right behind him. And those Alphas have definitely got the uh, the legs down the straight here, so this will be on through 130R. Look how close he is, he's just about can reach out and touch him. Someone's gotta have to, yeah, see. Louis had to back out of there, although Stellarman's run very wide. He's run, he's got it loose. And Louis goes right past him. Thank you, mother, for the rabbit. Well done. Still, it is uh, Ultra Boris and Sean's out front. And these two are keeping it clean, though. Alright, let's come back to uh, Big Tubes and. Rampant Robbo, the two Alphas are going to go head to head, oh Big Tubes has run wide and that has let Rampant Robbo through, our Tea Leaf Nightboy there is, um, he's, he's in the series but he's, uh, this is actually his first race um, so uh, I believe he's already said that um, he's not racing for points, he's just racing for, for, for complete fun, but have a look at these two. How close are they? Coming through Dunlop Curve now. Oh, what was Robbo looking at? He was 
must have been looking in the mirror watching for Big Tubes because he just about ran off the road and Rampant Robbo's gone round the outside. They're going side by side through the second Degna. This is going to end badly. Approaching the hairpin. Nicely done. 200 off, flat out, right hander. Just a great piece of track here. Now I know this is uh, this is probably one of the longest videos that uh, that I've. Oh, Louis has run wide through Spoon there. That's going to bring uh, Stellaman closer. This is one of the longest videos that we've ever put together for um, Forza Pro League Racing. But uh, I tell you. Stay tuned because there is battle after battle after battle right through this race. It I, I didn't know where to look when uh, when I was recording this, so um, stay with us. You won't get bored of this one, I tell you. Because these two, it's only lap two, and these two are already just at the point of swapping paint. Big tubes, nah, probably slightly cut the corner there. They're going to go side by side down through the main straight down into turn one. Big Tooth has definitely got the run. Come on. Is he going to stick it up the inside? No, Robbo still holds him off. Awesome racing, great racing. Alright, let's cut it up to Stella Man. Stella Man seems to be probably just biding his time I would say maybe just saving some tyres and just not getting in the mix of anything wow he really used all the road there on that Dunlop curve first Degna beautifully done second Degna again oh, he gets a little loose on the exit I'd say he's just biding his time and uh, he's going to see what the three ahead of him just get up to. But we're coming back to Big Tubes and uh, Rampant Robbo here. These two are still going at it. track there too they just flashed by the camera that was must have was a BMW so it must have been um a Stella Man Stella Man you can see Sean Sean is uh point six point Sean is right behind Ultra Boris through 130 uh flat out rampant robo just pulls it in a bit tighter not giving Big Tubes a chance to uh, get up the inside of him. There is a uh, Tea Leaf Night Boy. He seems to be catching these two. I mean, these two will be worrying about each other. And uh, of course, that brings. Tea Leaf Night Boy closer and closer each lap. Through the S's here, coming up to Dunlop Curve. These two, I mean, they've definitely got uh, their strengths and weaknesses on the different track. Big Tubes is going to try and go around the outside to get you to the inside for Degna 1, but that's not going to work. Pulls it in tighter, no rampant robber cuts it off. Nice apex through there from both of them. Oh, rampant robber, oh, they're both a bit loose. Now, Sean, Sean looks to have made a mistake somewhere because he was right behind Ultra Boris, only, only a lap or so ago, he was right behind him. He 
he's made a mistake somewhere or, or even Boris has uh, pulled out a gap. But the two BMWs are out in front. Looks like uh, either Rampant Robbo has made a mistake or Big Tubes has been able to finally gap him uh, or even um, Rampant Robbo has just uh, mm, sort of shown the white flag and maybe he's going to try and save some tyres and try and run uh, a, a, a lap or two longer and go for the overcut on um, Big Tubes. Come back to Stella Man, see he's just, he's just holding back on these, on these top three. Uh, my suggest is that he was going to probably run like he gets on two wheels coming through the first uh, left hander in the S's there. My guess is that he's going to run a bit longer than the, than the front three. So uh, he's just going to save a 2-3% uh, tyre wear per lap which is going to give him you know, a lap or two extra to, to play with. Presumption to play with these two. There's still a still a bit of a gap there. 1.2 seconds. 1.4 seconds now. Maybe uh, maybe Rampant Robo has just backed it off a bit. to Sam and the Mercedes through Spoon fantastic colour on this car Jagermeister very well done these three these three have sort of bunched up a bit more even now the top three they're definitely pushing each other two beamers one alpha Is of course uh, fourth, uh, fourth, third, and second in the championship. They're sort of in uh, the sort of in reverse order from uh, from uh, Stellaman up to first. Now we got the entry here from JDM eighty eight uh, in the uh, Tossa Motorsport. Uh, BMW uh, representing Tossa Racing. Let's see what he's got here. There's a birthday boy, Mr. Angry. Currently in ninth. He actually has just overtaken uh, JDM. Sorry, other way around. JDM has just overtaken him. But. At the back here we've got Mr. Angry and Daddy Stig who seem to be inseparable. Doesn't matter what uh, what what track, what series, what car that they're racing in, they they're obviously very close. Oh Daddy Stig's missed the apex big time for that first Degna, nails it on the second one, well done. Yeah, these two are just inseparable. He sticks well up on the uh, well up on the curb as he comes through the hairpin there. <coughs> Mr. Angry through 200 R. Watching Spoon, one of the famous corners in uh, world motorsport, the Spoon Curve, Suzuka. <coughs> Excuse me. These three are still 
at it, about a second apart each. Probably just, uh, probably just watching each other because you know the pit window would probably be somewhere um, for the first one anyway, somewhere between 9 to 12, 13 I would say um, to get your first your first pit stop done. But Sean, look at Sean, Sean's closed right up on the back of uh, Boris here. So come through <coughs> the last of the S's, Dunlop curve. Sean's, Sean's got it a bit loose, but he's thrown it right behind Boris here. He's got the tail wagon now, and he's, he's going to definitely have a push here. So probably indicates that uh, he's going to pit in uh, in a couple of laps time for, for Sean. Look how close he is, he's really turned up the wick now. And even uh, and even Lewis has turned it up as well because they were strung out by about a second apart. Now they're about half a second apart, one to three. Is Sean going to have a crack down through 130R? He's definitely got the the turn on this uh, on this BMW compared to Boris. He's, he's, Sean's using less of the road filling that uh, those mirrors of uh, Boris here he goes he's got to run he's got to run what's he gonna do here still gets it turned in better see how much it's, Boris is two or three car widths wider than he is or oh, a little lock up from Sean saves it throws it through the chicane Boris tries to break the slipstream, just pulls to the side. Fantastic racing from everyone here. Can Sean get close to Oh, Boris has put it in the grass through the S's there. Can Sean get close enough through Dunlop Curve and throw it down the Degna? Boris is making that BMW very wide. They're both loose. Sean's got... Oh, he tried to throw it up the inside there. He's still got it loose. I tell you what, there is nothing in this at all. Oh Sean's oh Sean oh Sean's run wide and he's given up second spot as well. That was a that was a big mistake. That one was and you can see there's still a man. He's just sitting there just watching all this go on. Now they are separated by about a second again. Nicely run through there from Lewis. Ultra Boris is just... Just holding them off. He's got that BMW running sweet. That's a fantastic shot, that is. Now we've got Rampant Robbo, but where has Big Tubes gone? 
Big Turbs is back in ninth. He's uh, he's obviously made a big mistake somewhere. But that's Tea Leaf Nightboy behind uh, Robbo here. I wonder what's happened to Big Turbs. But anyway, that's released. Uh, that's released Robbo to um, relatively clean air. Whoa! Sean's got very messy coming through 130R there. He's just about had a disagreement with the uh, with the tyre barrier. He had the front wheels in the grass. Amazing that he missed the tyre barrier there. That would have wrecked the car. And you can see, man, he's pushing. <coughs> he's pushing because he's got the thing very tail happy and overdriving the car almost. Oh, and Ultra, Ultra Boris is pitting. Oh, they're all... Is that, that all of them? Ultra Boris, Lewis, and... No, no, it's just Ultra Boris and Sean are pitting. Which puts Lewis leader of the race. So, the two BMWs are going for the undercut here on Lewis. Let's see if it's going to work. Is Lewis going to pit at the end of this lap? And we've got uh, Tea Leaf Night Boys in the pits as well. Going very slowly, though. So, is he... Has he had a disagreement with a tyre barrier on the way in? I'm not too sure. Oh, we got Mr. Angry down the back straight, approaching 130R. Nicely done. Nicely stopped, nicely turned. He's got this Merc running very nicely. Daddy Steggers are uh, definitely pulled back from uh, Mr. Angry over the last few laps. Oh, Big Tubes has got it very loose through the second deck now. Under the bridge, he's got it very loose. Once again, these two are going to lock horns. Oh, he's got it loose coming into Spoon. He's, oh no, he's all over the road. But he holds it. Nicely done. He's held it, but uh, that might give him... Right, Lewis is in. Lewis is in. How is this going to work for the undercut? Uh, well, it hasn't really worked at all because there goes Sean and... Uh, well, has it worked? Is that Boris out in front? No, that's Stella Man. That's Lewis, that's Sean, who have both pitted. No, that is that that is uh, that is ultra Lewis and Sean. So the undercut hasn't worked for uh, for Lewis to um, to grab Boris. But resumption to play here. Anyways, these three seem to have the track to themselves. Oh, and we have just got uh, 
We have just got confirmation that Big Tubes has retired. Um, he's suffered some damage from a crash that uh, eventually put him out. But uh, Stellaman, Stellaman's definitely going for the long run here. He's no signs of pitting. But uh, surely, I mean, this track here, this track is notorious for uh, high tyre deck, so uh, he'd be losing a big chunk of time on used tyres. You know, surely they would have uh, fallen off the cliff, as they say. Just absolutely no grip left. He'd be really struggling, I would think, anyway. But this is your leader on corrected time uh, because uh, Stellarman obviously hasn't pitted yet. That's a fantastic corner there through uh, that first left handy and really fly the car up on two wheels. Oh, Sean's, Sean is a bit loose there through the, the second left hander. And he's loose through the right-hander as well. He's really throwing this car around. He's grabbed it by the scruff of the neck today. And you can see there through Dunlop Curve, Lewis is actually did run wide, but uh, he's able to hold off Sean, so not too bad. We've got Sam. And Two Leaf Nightboy here coming through the S's as well now through Dunlop Curve. Oh, and he's put he's put two wheels on the grass, which oh nicely nicely done through uh, first Degna, nicely done through the second Degna uses all the exit available. Now, as I said earlier, that um, Tea Leaf Night Boy, though he's in this in this race, he's um, actually not racing for points. He's, um, he's uh, there is only two rounds left, and this is actually his first race in the series. So uh, he's already said to um, to league organisers that he is not racing for points, so he's not going to get in any tangles or anything like that. But uh, he's just going to go out and have some fun. Back on board here with Robbo. He's got some fresh air all around him. And Lewis has got Sean all over the back of his bumper bar, just tapping away. Perhaps it's the way that uh, Sean drives the car, but he just, it just see it's again there. It's all loose. It just seems to be all loose, like he's just overdriving the car. But, I mean, the more that I see it, the more I start thinking well, maybe that's actually just the way that he drives. Um, and if you can extract speed with the car sideways like that, well, I mean, it's sort of the known fact that it's not the fastest way to do things. So. Oh, and they've both used absolutely all the Astro Turf on the exit of second Degna there too. Sean there, Sean locked up the rear. The rear wheel's going into the hairpin. Through there, he has, he's lost time to uh, Lewis here. Stellarman still hasn't pitted. Still hasn't pitted. Surely he's overdone himself now. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna bring it in? He's surely, surely he has to. No? My goodness. He's still going. Crazy. 
Oh, Lewis and Sean are going to go side by side down the main straight here. Lewis is going to want to hold Sean out wide, but now Sean's driven straight past him. He got tremendous traction coming out of the chicane. And he's driven straight past him, down the main straight. Now you'd want to, uh, you'd want to run your, your second stint probably a little bit longer, well I would anyway, probably a little bit longer than what well, Lewis runs very wide through a Dunlop curve so that your last stint rather than at the end of the race your tyres are absolutely on the ragged edge you run your second stint longer so that towards the end of the race your tyres that you've put on aren't at the ragged edge uh, and you've still got something to fight with if you have to so I would probably be pitting lap end of lap 21 22 so that you've then got seven or eight laps of fresh tires whereas you know if you pit uh, if you pit on lap 19 or 20 by the t time you get to the end of the race your tires have done 10, 11, 12 laps and they'll be absolutely cooked. I want to see if we can extend this this second stint. These two look like they're just going to hold station for a little while. But, uh, oh, JDM's run off the track at uh, Spoon there in his uh, Team Tossa Motorsport BMW. Early if not, boy. Still having some fun. Just a P7. It's a great shot, that one, into turn one there. Fantastic camera position. Nice to her. Still at it. Unbelievable. A lot of these guys are um, also going to be racing in the season two of the Forza Pro League Racing uh, GT series, which is, I would say, the flagship series of Forza Pro League Racing, simply because of the the, the size that it is. I think it's 34 races, uh, racers, not races, racers have uh, signed up, confirmed. Um, oh look, Stellarman's finally, finally pitted. End of lap 15, he's finally had to give it up. And yeah, this is it's gonna cost him in the end because he, he just stayed out far, far, far too long, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so the GT series, you know, the, um, the amount of drivers, the, the length of the races, uh, some are two and three hour long endurance races. Uh, the the type of cars, obviously, you know, everybody loves the GT style cars. Uh, the Mercedes, the Bentleys, the Audis, um, even the Nissan GTRs. Uh, Chevy CR7s are in there. Um, it's going to be an absolute epic, 
epic series this is. Um, so a lot of these guys are going to be racing in that too. Uh, so that starts April 20. Uh, there's a couple of official media days, test days and so on between now and then. But uh, April 20 from Hockenheim uh, is when it starts. So really, really looking forward to that. And yours truly is actually always so also racing in there. Tell you what though, these two are getting closer and closer again. With uh, Lewis having a good run out of Spoon and the Alpha having better long legs and Sean running wide into Spoon brings Lewis right behind Sean. And those Alphas have got top end speed. Is he gonna close him down? He's got, what's that, probably four or five car lengths. Look at the speed he can carry through 130R. Is he gonna have a dot? No, he's just too far back. He just squirms under brakes ever so slightly. Both of them probably cut the corner a little bit too much there, but uh, they held position, so I don't think there was too much gained from both of them doing that. Here's Stellarman in fourth, completely on his own. He's got 30 seconds still back to Rampant Robbo. So he has got a pit stop in hand, but I think he's just too far back to um, to even come and play with uh, Lewis and Sean. Boys, all over the back of JDM here. Definitely close the gap. And Ultra Boris is still just holding out front, and oh, he's a bit loose though. But he's just. Uh, He's just driving to a rhythm now, I'd say. He's got himself into a good rhythm. Here's where that top end alpha speed just shows shows how much it's got. You can just close down through uh, through the back straight and through 130R. Well, you're getting his money's worth, folks, today. This has been probably one of the best uh, DTM cars, uh, DTM races, uh, this series. I think it's fantastic that, uh, that this series still exists. Um, you know, these cars are getting on 25 years old now. Uh, they had a hard life as a racing car, obviously, but uh, with some some love and care, you know, the owners of the cars still want them to be seen as they are, as a race car, um, which I think is fantastic. Um, you know, you got your you got your your touring car masters, which is your old, you got Camaros, um, Trans Ams, Mustangs. GDS's, GDO's, Falcons uh, that are, you know, they're getting on 45, 50 years old now. Uh, a lot of the old, a lot of the old Commodore Cup cars are, um, 
sorry, a lot of the old supercars are now Commodore Cup cars uh, here in Australia. Uh, I think it's I think it's fantastic that uh, that these older cars still exist. They still race. Certainly might not be as, as fast as you know the new race cars, but uh, but but I love the I love the old cars uh, as much as I do the new cars. I think it's fantastic. You know the, this one right here, the Mercedes, the 190. I mean, what a legendary car it is. Um, same as same with the the BMW M3 and the Alpha. They're all. They're all just legends. Oh dear, tea leaves got a bit loose through uh, through 130 there. Just caught the uh, the the wheel on the uh, on the curb, which has unsettled the car a bit. Now hang on a minute, what's happened here? Stella Man is up to third. Where's Sean gone? Sean has made an epic mistake somewhere. And not only has he dropped back to fourth, but he's a good uh, 10 seconds or so off Stella Man. What's, what has happened here? 16 seconds behind Stella Man. What's happened? See if we can get a replay of what happened there, but uh, that's that's bad, bad luck. Right, oh, no, ultra ultra Boris and Lewis are in for pits. They're in for pits again. Stellaman's no, he's not going with them. He's not going to go with them. And there goes Sean just there goes Sean just now. So he's he's lost out big time with that mistake. Because he's in, in between his uh, rivals but he still has to pit. That Boris here is on cold tires, so he's Sean is gonna be right on him. Oh, just a front right pinch on the wheel there for Sean. But look at this, he's all over the back of Boris here. He is uh, pit stop down, but uh, he's all over the back of him. Boris is still not going to give it to him. I mean, if I was if I was Boris, I'd probably just let him go. There's no point in getting uh, held up in a tussle when you know that he's still got a pit. So I mean, I'd, I'd just let him go because he's no he's no real threat to you at this point anyway. See that Sean's just very loose on the Exeter spoon, as he always is. So so we've come to know. Sean's not pitting. He's not pitting. And 
Rampant Robo's got uh, JDM88 here for company. Wonder how this is going to end. Alpha versus BMW. Back to Tele for his just run wide. Ever so slightly through there. Oh, Ultra Boris is still holding off Sean. We got Rampant Robo, JDM. Sambo and Tea Leaf Nightboy who are closing in on each other here. There's only uh there's there's nine and a half laps to go. Sean's got it. Sean's got it loose again. Now all race so far on the uh, team radios, all we've been hearing is, uh, particularly from um, Tea Leaf Nightboy, uh, that uh, that he's not happy with the car. It's very twitchy and very oversteery. Um, he keeps complaining of it to uh, to his team garage, and as well the uh, a couple of the alpha drivers, um, Lewis and Rampant Robo particularly, um, say once once the once the tyre wear is noticeable, that the car is basically undrivable. They lose a lot of grip. As soon as the, as soon as the tyres go away, they keep complaining. In fact, he's just done it again now to his team. These four, which is two battles, have look how close these two are. JDM and uh, Rampant Robo. Uh, oh, look at this! Trying to go side by side here. JDM trying to go around the outside through the S's. I don't think that's going to happen. is being hounded by JDM here, JDM88 for Tulsa Motorsport. Oh and look at Tea Leaf Nightball, he's up the inside of Sambo, I think there was contact there, they should, they should, uh, they should resume play unchanged if there was. Rampant Robo, obviously, uh, a, a solo team with Rampant Robo Racing. Uh, just one car garage, one private air garage. Doing well here against uh, Tulsa Motorsport. Rampant Robo also uh, he takes some pretty good uh, he takes some pretty good photos uh, of, of motor racing 
on Forza, um, both from the, the races that he does race in and, uh, and also a few others. So um, uh, make sure you check out his Facebook page as well. I'll um, put the links in the description down below. Um, there's a few other links in there as well for uh, FPRL um, and a few other um, pages that I think you should check out as well. So, um, so make sure you do do that. These two are going to go side by side through the S's. Switchback is on. Tea Leaf Nightboy is trying to just get his nose up there. But Sambo is having none of that. He's making that Mercedes very wide. He's going to push him, hold him out high. Leaf Nightball has got the run here because I do I think he I think he cut that corner the second Degna but the switchback is on here he's up the inside but he's got the back end loose it's gonna hurt him He's, he's up the inside. He is up the inside. Oh, there's contact made. Sambo does all right out of that. I think uh, Telly Nightboy did end up off the track there. Yeah, he's dropped right back. He did end up off the track there. Uh, back to the front, Sean has lit it up and coming out of the second deck now, but he's all over the back of Ultra Boris here. Now, by my calculations, he still has to pit. He still has to pit, I'm pretty sure. And back to these two. Who are still at it. There is uh, six and a half laps remaining. Now what do you do here? Sometimes you've got to, if you know you're faster than the guy in front, sometimes you've got to just hold station and then with two or three laps to go make your move. Whereas if you do it now, uh, you've got to hold him off for six or seven laps or so. Uh, so, which oh, Sambo's right off the off the track there. So, if you know you can pass someone, uh, there's two ways. There's two ways that you can do it in these dying stages of a race. You can either get it done, and then you've got to hold them off, and possibly, you know, get in a tangle with someone, or just hold station and pounce with you know two or three laps to go and then disappear up the road Lewis has uh, got a bit of fresh air around him as well, he made, he, made, he made a mistake somewhere, we missed that. You can see there, Sean's BMW just on the ragged edge of grip. Just a little bit too much throttle input.
which I reckon that's what uh, JDM88 here is going to do. He's probably just going to hold station for another two or three laps. Unless uh, Rampant Robo makes a mistake. Unless JDM is going to be a bit opportunistic and he's going to go around the outside through 200R. They're not going to touch panels, they're going to be very close though, but he's going to hold it around the outside, which means he's on the inside for Spoon. He's going to stick it up the inside, no, Rampant Robo's still got it. Is he going to... No, he's going to pull in behind. Great racing from these two, close. Without touching is always... A... Oh no! That's not good. That's not the fastest way to do this, uh, JDM. Fantastic shot there from the helicopter. Oh no, Sean's off the road. He's used too much. He's, he's used too much throttle, too much understeer. The car's the car's got to be hurting. Has to be hurting. Oh, tea leaf. He's had a big incident coming through uh, the last chicane. There, he's in the dirt on the inside of the track, though. That's a very weird place to be. Car's in one piece though, so he hasn't hit anything, he's just run off the track. Very weird. Very strange. But anyway. Sean is coming again at Ultra Boris. Again. Round, God, we must be round 57 now. Between these two. But Ultra Boris, there's not a mark on that car at all. He's driven brilliantly today. comes JDM again. This is not finished with yet at all. There's three and a half laps to go. Here's the birthday boy, Daddy Stig. As usual, keeping each other company. Nice apex there from Mr. Angry. Has he got it up the inside? Not quite. They both pulled it in really tight through the hairpin there. Obviously, uh, just watching each other and, and then and then following each other. Mr. Anger can get a run through here, up the back straight through 130i, either stick it up the inside at 130 or the chicane. He's got a couple of spots, but he's too far back, too far back through um, 130. What's he going to do through here? He's definitely got it turned in a lot tighter. Closes right down onto Daddy Stick Lock. That was brilliant braking and turning from Mr. Angry. Tell you what, there's nothing in this. As usual with these two. Two and a half laps to go. We've got uh, probably one, two, three, th three or four really good battles 
going on. And this is one of them. JDM and Rampant Robbo. Uh, JDM's on the ragged edge on the braking and look at these two still at it close enough through here on the exit, keep it straight, get the rear square so you can just power down. No, it's, in fact he does the opposite, he gets it all loose. <laughs> Righto. Let's see if we can have a crack through uh, through the into the chicane. He closed up right up on the back of him. Last lap. Throws it into the brakes and oh no, he's out braked himself. He's just about run off the track there. That has given Daddy Stig some big breathing space. Because trust me, that gap there between the two of them is massive. For those two, that's huge. There's Ultra Boy, he's just driven absolutely perfectly. He's not a mark on the car. Unbelievable. Well done. Well done. Sean and Lewis still at it. You can see Sean's BMW just loose on, on oversteer, suffering from oversteer, whereas uh, Lewis's Alpha seems very planted. These two JDM closes up right under brakes. Oh, Rampant Robbo's just about overshot the the second part of the chicane there. Is that going to bring JDM side by side? Not quite. He's just a bit too far back. Another battle here, T Leaf and Sambo are going at it. Mercedes vs BMW. Oh, what's happened here? Uh, Diddy Stig is now behind Mr. Angry. In their last lap, Mr. Angry actually just about ran himself out of track there. Daddy Stig's made a mistake on the track somewhere because he's now behind although he's got the run he's got the run he's going to pull out of the slipstream side by side here here we go someone's got to give oh, no one wanted to give there and they've just about both run off the track This is the last lap. Can Sean hold off Lewis here? Through the S's for the last time. Through Dunlop Curve, last time. Alright, oh, Lewis has binned it! He's binned it through Dunlop Curve. He's run onto the grass. That's hurt big time.
now f finally has Ultra Boris caught the, the back markers, Daddy Stig and Mr. Angry. But he doesn't have to give up the spot because, well, technically, Mr. Angry and Daddy Stig have got to get out of the way. Mr. Angry, I think he's off the track. He's trying to let uh, Boris through, but in doing so, has just hurt himself. But here's Ultra Boris, 77-7. Seven. Coming through to take the checkered flag after a pretty much faultless race. The car is not a mark on it. Stunner Man in fourth, first time he's not on the podium. That line not on the winner's step this this series it's amazing whether he just had an off day or uh, the car just wasn't right um, not sure but uh, but definitely he was just off the pace today his rampant Robbo and JDM still at it I tell you what JDM's gonna throw it down the inside or the outside Robbo covers And he, and he holds on by nothing because JDM's still trying to get out the inside of him. But in the end, oh no, look at that, there's nothing in it. Fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant racing. Now, as I said, guys, be sure to um, be sure to check out the uh, the descriptions. There's a heap of links in there for uh, different racing leagues, different racing teams, um, a few Twitter pages and Facebook pages, and so on. Just uh, just check them out. There's a heap of stuff to uh, to read and watch as well. Now that. Uh, Ultra Boris there is uh, now taken over by AI, so it's, I mean, it should really get out of the way. But he wants to, <laughs> the AI wants to argue with Mr. Angry, who's still actually racing, which that, that does suck a bit. But that's it. So there we have it. Oh, Mr. Angus had a spin right at the line. But there's your podium, Ultra Boris, Sean and Lewis, first, second and third. Faultless drive from, uh, from Ultra Boris, fantastic. Had a uh, big bag of points for him too, 100 points. Um, as we're going to see the, uh, the finishing results, um, still a man, fourth, Rampant Robbo, fifth and sixth to Sambo. After an epic battle, once again, Daddy Stig and Mr. Angry, epic battle. Uh, Big Tubes didn't finish after that uh, crash on lap mm, 9, I believe it was. Uh, but other than that, awesome, awesome racing by everybody. Fantastic race this was. And we're going to see now the, uh, this is the updated championship points. Uh, Stella Man <laughs> has 12 points on Lewis and Sean. Uh, equal second, uh, which we're off to Silverstone, the home of motorsport, for the last round next week. Uh, I do believe from calculations that Stella Man needs fourth or better in that race to actually win the championship. Um, so if he can do anything like today, just hold, don't get in any trouble. He can secure it with the last race. It's still on, but... Uh, Let's see what he can do next week. As we've seen today, Lewis and uh, Sean and Ultra Boss can take it to him. Let's see if it can happen. We'll catch you then. Thanks a lot.